Good morning. I thought you all would like to spend the day with me today. Let me tell you what's going on. I've been up for about two and a half hours. I'm still in my pajamas because today's a big day. It is my husband's birthday. He is turning 52 today and I have a bunch of stuff planned. And so I didn't want him to know what I was up to. So I was just hanging around the house doing computer work. He thinks I'm just going to be like this all day long, but I had to wait for him to leave for work and then it's on. I have stuff to do. So I thought you might like to spend the day with me. So I'm eating some cereal super quick. Y'all, I'm on a schedule. I'm going to put my hair in a ponytail and then we are going to run to the ice cream shop. I'm going to take you all inside with me. We are launching a super exciting secret new product at our ice cream shop. And so I'm going to give you a little sneak peek and then I'm headed to my husband's favorite bakery. It is next door to our ice cream shop. I'm going to get him a box of his favorite goodies. And then I have some gifts planned and we're going out to dinner tonight. So let's spend the day together. Help me plan a birthday. So I'm on a schedule. It is 8.30 on the dot. I got to get Pollux in the house. Let's get Pollux. Every morning, Alex has to tell the squirrels every single morning. Oh, here come Distin. Come on, Mooey. Pollux and I have dog training class. Yes, finally. He is taking private dog training classes. We've been trying to get this done since last spring, but all of the dog trainers in my town canceled classes because of the pandemic. So finally, finally, we've been able to start our dog training classes, but I have to get downtown, go to the shop, get pastries, and be back at my house to get Pollux loaded in the car to be at the dog trainer at 1030. So I have two hours and I cannot get him to come in. Did y'all see this? Look at him. Look at him out there. <sighs> Pollux, come on. Here he comes. Here he comes. <sighs> come on, Pollux. <laughs> You made it inside. Okay, y'all be good. Mama be back. What, Mooey? Y'all be good. Mama be back. Then we got class, Pollux. We got class. <laughs> okay, it's 8.45. I'm at the ice cream shop, and I'm not going to turn on the lights in here because if I do, people think I'm open. But let's go get pastries, and then I'll come back, and I'll show you my secret new product at the ice cream shop. Say good morning to Craving the Girls. But let's head down the street here. Oh, see, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see downtown Paducah. Look, everybody's got their holiday windows decorated. This, so this is us. And then this little boutique next to us, McLaren Manor. She did this yesterday, I think. Look how cute the windows are. This weekend is holiday open house in downtown Paducah. It's actually a really nice day today. It's supposed to be 70 degrees. We have cobblestone streets on our little street. So cute. But we're gonna go one street over. This is our market house and art museums. We're gonna go down here to Kirchhoff's. Randy loves Kirchhoff's. You can hear them in does. They're prepping for the day. Max's brick oven. It's got their tent up because it's chilly at night. And here's Kirchhoff's Bakery. Let's see what they got. like two Cronody cookies. Okay, I think the last two. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe yes, a chocolate chip cheesecake bar. Okay. And um, let me do a heat toffee cookie. Okay. And that's it. Okay, so three cookies and a bar? Yes. Okay. Okay. 
So we'll walk the other way back around to the ice cream shop so that you all can see what all's down here. So I got my goodies. Yay! Ta-da! That is the Carson Center of Performing Arts. It is the huge performing arts center. We get Broadway shows and musicals. It's right there. And then there's the river. But we got the Carson Center. And then this is our local theater, which is the Market House. So we have a huge theater district here. See, Market House Theater. But you round the corner and this is our street with Craving the Curls. So it's early, so everybody has their tables up, but there is Cynthia's restaurant, which is Italian. We have Paducah Axe, which has a huge outdoor eating area. It's super cool. And then they are an ax throwing company. We have a little pocket park right there. We have like a pub. They do burgers and things on a grill. It's called the Bully Gorilla. Then you have the Art Guild. And then you have us. There we are. That's me. Let's go in, guys. Oh my goodness gracious. But let me tell you what we're doing. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know the secret. But we debuted, because it's winter time, y'all. Hot uh, sales of ice cream really drop off when it gets cold. It, it just does, it's a fact. And so we debuted hot cocoa bombs in our ice cream shop. We debuted them last weekend. Huge, gigantic hit. If you don't know what a hot cocoa bomb is, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna insert right now the little promotional video that I put on our Facebook and Instagram pages and people went bonkers. So let me show you our little setup. This is what our customers see when they walk in the door. So they come in, of course, they see all the ice cream and the goodies, and then they see hot cocoa bombs. So they can get coffee, they can do hot chocolate. We have hot cocoa bombs, and I'll show you up close later, but you can get them in little gift mugs. Of course we have, look, doggy mugs, look. But you can grab little gifts. You can get cocoa bombs and in individual packages like that. You can get them in a four pack or you can get them served. If you wanna drink it right now, we will serve it to you in the store with steamed milk. So now you've seen the video and you know what a hot cocoa bomb is, but let me show you my little babies. I'm calling these suckers my little babies. So these are all of my little babies that we'll serve this week. But let me show you these up close. We have milk chocolate peppermint, white chocolate peppermint, classics, mocha lattes, white mocha lattes, Oreos, s'mores, and for our limited edition this week is unicorn bombs. So each one of these little babies is made with love in store by me and one of our employees and we serve them in the store. You can get them in a coffee mug with steamed milk poured over them or you can take them to go. So this is my labor of love. This is what I've been up to. If you all watched my video where I was packing for a beach vacation with Maxi and Pollux and I said that we were launching a new product in the ice cream shop, this is it. These cocoa bombs. This is what I've been up to. It is something. We're only doing it until Christmas, so I have seven more weeks ahead of me of cocoa bombs. Y'all, this white mocha latte, let me tell you what. Inside each one of these cocoa bombs is cocoa powder, espresso powder, espresso chocolate chips, and 10 marshmallows. This is my favorite. I am obsessed 
with the mocha latte cocoa bombs. I mean, obsessed. When I posted this on my Instagram page, because I was so proud of myself, I wanted you all to see my cocoa bomb babies. So many of you all messaged me and said, can you ship me a cocoa bomb? I'm sorry, I can't ship them. I'm afraid they're either gonna break or they're gonna melt. They're just, they're just not made for shipping. But thank you for asking. I wish that I could, but you gotta come to Craven the Curls to get one. No time to dilly-dally. I gotta get home. Pollux has dog training in an hour. And on my way, I have to stop and drop off all the dirty rags and the laundry from the restaurant to be washed. And then I have to stop and get strawberries, bananas, and milk for hot cocoa bombs and, and business tomorrow at Craving the Curls. Barking, barking, barking. Oh. Okay, I got my goodies. Let me run these in. Hey, Mimi. Hey, Mimi. Hey, hey. Come on, let's go inside. Go, 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 go. Uh oh. You, oh my gosh, you got yourself stuck in the door. Hi, Pogs. Oh. oh. <laughs> He hit, the <laughs> he hit the back door. He want to go tell those girls about it still. Oh, my gosh. Here's, look at that tail. Look at that tail. It's just swinging. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Pollux. Okay. Go tell those squirrels that we got to go training. Go. Y'all go. Look at him go. <laughs> he is in love with these squirrels. I mean, he is just having a ball. And something I failed to tell you all, oh my gosh, my hair every time, is Brecken came home for Randy's birthday. She came home last night, totally surprised him. He had no idea. Of course, I knew she was coming. She called me at the last minute and um, I, she was going to come for the weekend, but decided because his birthday's on a Thursday, her classes are virtual, she would just come on and surprise him. So she drove home. He was in the living room and this is what happened. He was so surprised. to my videos because mm. Oh, he said, okay, now. Now we'll do it. <laughs> oh, really? Maxie. Oh, I'm all hairy now. Yeah. Welcome home, big girl. Pollux. <laughs> My gosh. Pollux, are you ready for class? Are you ready for class? How huh? are you? No, he gonna do the zoomies right now. Good, run out some of that energy. <laughs> what, are you ready for training? <laughs> He's so excited, aren't you, Paul? <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Right, Pollux, you're so excited. Okay, let's get your stuff together. So on days that we have Pollux's 
dog training classes, I am only supposed to give him half of his breakfast and then I take the other half in a little Ziploc baggie. And so we use his normal food as treats for some training, but then I had to go out and find little bitty training treats, something that was just super special. He only got when he's being good. I use them for training and this is what I found. These little peanut butter banana treats. He loves these. He's not, Pollux is not really too food driven. So it took me a while to find something that, that would really get his attention when he was distracted. And this is it. These little pea banana soft treats for dogs. Mm-hmm. You want to show him your new harness, Pollux? Let's show him. Let's show him it. Come down. So Pollux, Maxie, do you have to do it too just because Pollux did it? Pollux has a new harness. This is what his trainer said he needs. The harness I was using wasn't substantial enough and so we got this new one and it is fantastic. He really pays attention to me when we put this harness on. He knows it's time to look at me and to train. And so I will put a link to this harness in the description box below the video. But what's so great about it is, I can attach him here. If he does something that I need to get a hold of him really quickly, I do have a handle. And then let's show him hard, a box. It's got a front hook too. So we can lead from the front, from the back, or I can get a hold if I need to. And it comes in like, I don't know, eight di different colors. Maxie, are you showing us too? You didn't get one, Maxer. <laughs> look at this. But as soon as I put the harness on Pollux, look, he stays right by my side. He knows it's time for training. And then I have a new leash. Again, the leash I was using was, was not substantial enough, so I got this Kong leash. It's a six foot leash. It has a padded handle and it's thicker. So this is what we need for Pollux to train. Right, buddy? Are you ready to go? Look how close he's staying to me because he knows when the harness is on, it's time to work. And look, the bee girl home. <laughs> So while Pollux and I are gone to training, I am uploading a YouTube video. So <laughs> I've got it working. It shows here that I've got about a 34 minute upload and Pollux's training class is a half hour and it's only about five minutes away. So I'm gonna let YouTube work for me while I'm gone. And when I get back, I'm gonna finish this video this afternoon. Look at this. Look, he is attached to me at the chair. Literally will not leave my side. I don't know if it's the harness. I don't know if it's the training we've been doing, but the minute I snap this harness on him, it's like glue. He is attached to me and he's looking to me for instruction. It's great. Pollux is in the car, ready to go. Y'all, I didn't plan this, but everything that has to do with Pollux is orange. Isn't that cute? But this is our dog seat protective cover. It is fantastic. I've talked about it in so many videos. I'll put a link to it in the description box below this video, but wonderful. So Pollux is in. He's strapped in. He's not going anywhere. Right, Pollux? Pollux is at dad's birthday. Huh? Did you wish him happy birthday? You did already. You were such a good boy at training class today, Pollux. Should we tell him how good you were? We'll tell him. The number one thing I wanted to learn in training class, or I wanted Pollux to learn in training class, was how to walk on a leash with me. He was constantly, hello, full speed ahead, pulling me. There was always tension on the leash. I had, I had to have my whole entire body engaged to be able to walk him. That's why you all never see me walking him in any videos, because I just, I couldn't video and walk him at the same time. So we have been working on him walking beside me, no tension on the leash, paying attention to me, turning and making eye contact when he knows that I want something from him, and now we're working on a touch command. So I put my hand down, he will come up to me and touch my hand with his nose, and then look to me to see what I want, and he gets a treat for that. So he is doing really, really good, and that is what we learned today. Right, Paul? I'm dressed and ready. Just have to put my jeans on. Randy's home from work. He's in the shower. I have really not even been able to say hello because so many people have called him like to wish him happy birthday. 
So he came in and jumped in the shower. I think Brecken's ready and I just had to wrap his gift super quick and I'm gonna show you what I got him. Randy has one of these already. It's a Conair stubble trimmer because he doesn't like to shave his face close. He likes to leave a little bit of stubble. He has one of these, but it's like four years old at this point, and he wanted the new updated versions. It's super cool, y'all. You put this thing in the shower so you can shave your face with its wet. It has a little stand you keep out of the shower and then you just pick up this thing, take it in the shower and it shaves your face, but it leaves the stubble. So it has different settings. So depending on how long you want the stubble to be, this thing works fantastic. So he's getting a new one of these for his birthday. And then I got him his favorite goodies from Kirchhoff's. I got the chocolate chip like chess bar, this is like a Heath cookie, and this is his favorite. It is called, this one, the Cranody cookie. It has cranberries, white chocolate chips, and there's nuts in there. That is his all-time favorite cookie. Mooey, did you tell Dad happy birthday? You did? You already told him? <laughs> Y'all, Maxie had to get his little schnauzer skirt cut off because it was so matted up from being at the beach. So he's a little chilly, <laughs> but I'm getting ready to get him a super cute little t-shirt. We found one with stripes on it that'll keep him warm. So he's curled up in a little ball right now. Pollux is playing with Henrietta. You got Henrietta? Oh, whoop, Henrietta. I know, y'all are such sweet boys. <laughs> Do you want to open your present before we go or when we get back? Sure. Okay, do Mind it. Well. Let's do it. Let's do it now. You go. You're the birthday boy. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Oh, I wasn't even done. Okay. <laughs> Gosh. Ooh. 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 That's correct, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I mean, I think, that, other, just other one. I think, I think it's just gold. updated. What's in your box? Let's see what's in my box. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh. my fake rock cookies. Yeah. Oh, uh oh. Wee, wee. Wee, I don't know about you got a mouse it. In your what's, pocket? what's that one? This is like a Heathy bar. This is These are Cronodies, and that is a chocolate chip cheesecake chest bar thing. Yeah, all right. Interesting. Mm. Who sent you that drink? Kendall. <laughs> Ooh, Caribbean dip. He got a pretzel bun. Ooh, she did. And the birthday boy got the same thing I did. Caribbean dip with fries. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pox, what are you doing to your bed? What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Oh my goodness, buddy, the bed. The bed is basically, I think, has more holes than not holes. I mean, come look at this thing. Is that your rooster? Do what? Yeah? Is that your rooster? I mean, come get a close-up of this bed. <laughs> what is he doing, Mooey? Huh? Why is he shaking his head? Okay, we waiting on Dad to have cookies. Doesn't it? He has more holes than... <laughs> yeah. Why does he do that? What do you want? No, you pick. No, you pick. No, you pick. <laughs> oh, my God. I only want like a no, half okay. of one. No, you pick. I want a half of that. Okay, we'll get a half. I want a bite of a cannoli. Which one'd you get? The um, toffee one? I got Oh, well, that wasn't the best. It's Actually, okay. Give me it. Oh, oh, I don't need the big piece, but okay, fine. Alex, you don't like Dad's cookie? His tail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You don't like Dad's cookie? It's oatmeal. You don't want oatmeal cookie? You don't like it? Oh, no. <laughs> He'll eat it because if he don't, Max will. Maxine, did you like it? You didn't have a problem with the oatmeal cookie. Get the big girl in there. So thanks for spending the day with me today on Randy's birthday. All the planning, everything that went on, he's now 52. I'll see you later.